Welcome to our tutorial on optimizing parts in Cosmos Express. Cosmos Express allows you to optimize your model. One example of optimization would be choosing dimensions that allow you to meet the factor of safety requirements, and so on. Okay, let's begin by opening Cosmos Express. We select Tools, Cosmos Express. As in our last segment, we'll choose Material Type and Alloy Steel. Click Apply and Next. Let's check our restraints. I'm going to choose this face. Next. Next. Okay, Load. Let's choose Force and apply it to this face here. Next. Let's choose Pounds here. In the value field, enter 2000. Next. Now let's run our analysis. Okay, Cosmos Express lets us know that the factor of safety is now 1.19705. But what if we need an FOS of, for example, 2.5? That's where the Optimize tab comes into play. Click Next. And here in the Factor of Safety value field, let's enter 2.5. We can also use Maximum Stress and Maximum Displacement as well. Now Next, and let's select the dimension that we want to change. It'll be this dimension here. Here we see the current value of the dimension. We also see below the lower bound and upper bound values. We can change these values. For example, here I can enter 25 millimeters. Obviously, the lower bound value can't be less than 15. But for the time being, just to illustrate a point, I'm going to leave it at 7.5 and click Next. OK, now we press Optimize. Again, this process may take a few minutes. The computer is still processing the request. OK, Cosmos Express gives us a warning message. Specified constraints violated. Running analysis for initial design. We're going to explain later on why this happened. For the time being, I'll choose OK to complete this operation. OK, the optimization is complete, and here are our results. The final design is about 10% heavier than our original design. The wall is a little thicker, as we can see. Press here to see the original. And there is the optimized thickness. Now our model meets the 2.5 factor of safety requirement. OK, let's, let's click Close. Do we want to save the data? Yes. Now let's check out why we had that warning message earlier. Let's unsuppress that rib. And we'll double click to see the dimension. It is 19.31 millimeters. As you remember, the minimum parameter for that dimension was 7.5 millimeters. So let's enter that value here just to test it out. 7.5 millimeters. Click OK. And let's see what happens. Let's rebuild the model. We have another warning message from SolidWorks. Feature Rib1 failed to rebuild. I'm going to ignore this warning and continue the rebuild we get another warning. The resulting rib does not intersect the existing model. Let's close that warning, and let's go see what actually happened. I'm going to expand the tree and edit the sketch. OK, let's choose the Normal 2 view. 
Okay, now we get a clearer picture of what the problem is. If we extend this line, it'll actually go through that hole and won't intersect with the wall. Unfortunately, intersecting with a wall is one of the requirements for creating this rib. So we will need to revise our sketch a little bit here, since that's why SolidWorks had given us that warning message a little bit earlier. And this concludes our tutorial on optimizing parts in Cosmos Express.